Welcome back to Holy Pastor Doing Stuff. This time, how to pray. Now friends, for many people, our interactions with God look like this. Honey, our son has his first girlfriend. Oh God! Honey, I'm pregnant with twins. Oh dearest God! Or even like this. The Red Sox aren't seriously going to be swept again, are they? God! Now, the funny thing is, all of those moments could be the start of some solid prayer time, even if you begin by taking the Lord's name in vain, like I just did. Now, at this point, of course, I am obliged to shake my finger in your general direction, like in Monty Python, and tell you that you shouldn't take the Lord's name in vain. Bad, 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 bad. Now that that's done, I'm serious. Good prayers can come from starting with, Oh God, my God, Lord have mercy, whatever. So pretend, for instance, that the Red Sox are being swept, which, admittedly, does not take much imagination or pretending. But turn your outburst into an address of God and so how about this? God damn it, they're being swept again! I, I, I mean, God, what, what I mean to say is that, you know, I, I pray that you'll take away uh, my obsession of sports, that you will damn my obsession with sports. Teach me to not care so much about things that don't matter. Amen. Solid prayer right there. Or, if you do learn that your son or your daughter has their first significant other, how about this? Oh, God. I mean, yeah, God, I'm talking to you. You know, can you just, you know, help them treat one another well and not kill each other and, and perhaps get to know one another well before they declare their undying love for one another and get married? A and be with me too, God. I don't know, give them good advice and not fly a helicopter around. Thanks. Ah. Uh, it's that simple. It really is. We just turn shock and frustration into, and breaking a commandment, into a solid prayer. And we did it twice, so you can repeat that many times over. And so the next time you say, Oh God, or Oh Lordy, or Why in God's friggin' name is that cat eating my lunch? Pretend that you meant to address God that whole time, and turn it right around into a simple, solid prayer. And do keep it simple, friends. When I see this mess on my desk, I don't start praying, God, strengthen me to be productive today so that I can do the work in front of me for your glory so that all might know your name and come to love you for that's why we're here, to work in your name and glorify it. Hell no, that's not what I pray. What I pray is, oh, damn it. God, help. Maybe leave out the damn it. You know, maybe just stop saying damn it altogether, friends. That's probably a good idea. But that's still a good prayer. You can say more and be more specific if you want, but the point is that prayer does not need to be fancy, because prayer is simply the means by which we invite God into our lives. And we invite God into our lives by addressing Him and by being genuine. And so if you're worried that prayer is a struggle for you, don't sweat the fancy stuff. Just invite God in, even if you start by taking the Lord's name in vain. Simply and genuinely invite Him in, no matter what you're doing or feeling. Like this. God, I really don't feel like this was a very good episode, so can you just assist me in saying, Screw it, I'll post it anyway, hope some good comes from it, and try better next time. Thanks. Amen. There. That's all there is to it. You have learned how to pray the holy way, right here on Holy Pastor Doing Stuff. Make sure to tune in next time as we get down to business, learning how to brush your teeth. Holy Pastor is off to his second job, procrastinator.